Shall we? Yeah. Okay, right. So we'll cut the bit at the beginning. So, hello there. Uh, this is Peter of England um, speaking to you today from somewhere in Stoke on Trent. Um, the reason for the, uh, this, this video update is really to answer some questions that certain people have been uh, making who have been visiting the web, uh, sorry, visiting the, uh, the channel to look at the videos. We've got nearly 50 videos there now, and uh, for some people, they're not quite sure. Um, they range from articles on Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian Embassy through to things like the story of the plates. So what we thought we'd better do is bring people up to date. Today is the, um, it's the 9th, I believe, of September 2012. Um, and there is a court case scheduled for the 10th of October 2012 at Chelmsford Magistrates. This court case is one of immense significance. Uh, I am accused by the Crown uh, of various statutory offences. Uh, I have had my liberty taken, uh, I have had my possessions taken, I have been kept in police cells, I have been hauled before the magistrates like a common slave. Uh, and all for what I would maintain is daring to ask the big question. And that big question is quite simple. Who owns me? Whose property am I? Where did my freedoms go? I maintain that I am free and that I am a being that has the right to self-determination. It would seem to be that the crown or the state believes otherwise. Now, we're drowning, I maintain, under a sea of statutory legislation. Uh, statute law is surrounding us and impinging on our everyday activities. We're having this thrust upon us by nothing less than a, an elective dictatorship. So, what I did is I decided to withdraw my consent and I decided to withdraw my silence. So, the question was, are you free? I would maintain, not at all. Tyranny, deceit, bank theft, no prosecutions, abuse, injustice, crony capitalism, lying politicians, evil men surrounding you everywhere. The list is endless. Um, so, this is all hidden in pet plain view, I'd maintain. Yet we do nothing. But I did do something. I withdrew my consent and I refused to remain silent. Now, the biggest theological, ideological and philosophical question that it is possible to pose has therefore been posed to the Crown, the State and the Government. The question that has been asked of this State, this Crown, this Government and the Attorney General of England and Wales is... Who owns me? Am I free? Am I a self-determining human being with inalienable sovereign rights? They have replied by showing me and showing you that I am the property of the state. And under the Roman law doctrine of what's called SPQR, that's Senatus Populus Que Romanus. And this, in the Latin language, is what's called a formula. It is a concise way of expressing a formula or information in, in a symbolic way. And we see this everywhere. I am, according to the government, a slave. I am owned and I am their property. I am there to be regulated, to be licensed, to be vaccinated, to be controlled, to be registered and branded like a cow or other farm animal, a chattel of Rome, this new empire. So, this is, this is not about me, and I would also say this is not about you. It's about you and me together, because we must show that we are human beings, after all, and not human doings, as the state would have us believe. Failure to get involved in this action now, I believe, on the cusp of 2013, whatever spiritual beliefs or ideology you have towards Earth changes generally, I believe failure to get involved will see you dragged into an abyss so dark that your worst nightmares can't do justice to it.
I believe now is the time for action and that we must show the state that there is a different way of living and there's a different set of rules that we can live under, chosen by ourselves, without the state having to be our constant guardians. So, are you free? Are you a human with what I would call inviolable human sovereignty? Given to you by your creator, not given to you by the Blairs and the Bushes and the Clintons and the Obamas and the Thatchers and the government. Or are you owned? The government seems to say that you're owned. This case they cannot afford to lose. Full stop. But it's a case we maintain that is built on truth and justice and, and a, a universal, inviolable human sovereignty. The state or the crown cannot afford to lose this case because of the implications for all people everywhere. However, it is a case that they cannot possibly win. The crown has stepped on to an ideological landmine. And I've heard it click. Can you hear the click? Okay, they cannot win, so I ask you to join with me on the 10th of October 2012 at Chelmsford Magistrates Court in Essex at 1400 hours and together we will give them something that they will never ever forget. Thank you for your time. I hope this clarifies some of the videos and the, the rationale be behind what Peter of England is trying to do and what we stand for. It isn't about number plates. It isn't about just not paying insurance or not having road tax. It's the principle behind the question, who owns you and what are your sovereign rights? Thank you.